What's up guys, welcome to our flip. This was one of the biggest transformations ever. Super stoked to show you. Let's check it out. Come on in. Wow, welcome to the not so horror house anymore. Yeah, it is this so bright. Is a nice entrance. Yeah, super nice, super bright. I'm happy with it. <laughs> yeah, I think it looks great. So the stairs were the only thing we kept, I think, in this entire house. That's original. <laughs> yeah, a little bit bummed out that that was the only thing we were able to salvage, yeah. but, but hey, look it turned good. out so good. Sanding it and standing it to the same color as the island. Nice touch. Yeah, the contractors told us like they didn't think that it was a good idea because it was mm. maybe in rough shape. They don't listen to us. <laughs> but it only ended up being one stair, the bottom stair that was yeah. kind of like rough-ish and the rest were actually in great condition. And honestly, it's a 1914 yeah, home. Like it's not gonna be pristine. I think that just adds yeah. to the charm. That's the character, it worked out well. Here we got the living room. So yeah, this house was a complete gut right to the studs. I think we, only thing we kept was the framing, that's it. Literally everything's new, insulation, drywall, pot lights, electrical, yeah. plumbing. And the stairs, we kept the stairs. Kept the stairs, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man, this looks great. Staging looks good, nice and airy. I like the accent color wall. Yeah, we've gotten a lot of compliments on the Yeah, color. kind of matching the old historical Stratford theme. If you yeah. guys don't know, Stratford's like a very historical old town. So we're trying to keep the vibes, I guess, color scheme. So this main floor was all walled up, boxed up. It just didn't work. It wasn't the modern flow we were looking for. There's actually a wall right here. Yeah. So why did we open it all up? Well, I actually originally didn't want to take this wall down. I was open to taking I had to fight her on it. the wall out between the kitchen and dining room. Yeah. But this one had really cool pocket doors. But when we found out the pocket doors weren't salvageable, yeah. it didn't make sense just to leave a tiny opening. So I'm happy we, we did. <laughs> we just blew it out. And it does look a, a lot yeah, totally. nicer. And it's a good sight line into the kitchen. Definitely. Kitchen. Completely yeah. different. Totally different. As you can tell, we just moved right along. Yeah, up. moved right along. Nice open concept. This is a massive island. Yeah, what is this? Like nine feet, 10 feet? I forget what it I was. I think it's, it's about eight feet. Yeah, it's crazy. But it, enough to fit four people comfortably on that side. Yeah. When we were here. This countertop is ago, massive. <laughs> you know, some people were sitting on the side. So yeah. You could definitely host a fair number of people on at this island. This is the party house for sure. So yeah, the kitchen was over there, but now we put it over here. Yeah. Much smarter design. Yeah, we did a Houdini. A Houdini? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then we put the stove over here, center to this piece, so it's like an art piece from the living room. That's what I love. Yeah, All and this. the first time we did a more custom yeah. range hood. Usually we do the metal chimney style. Chimney style. So we did something a little bit different just to I don't know, blend it in a little bit more. Yeah. We didn't want it to be a, like a real feature, but yeah, for sure. This ended up being a feature. Definitely. It looks great. Yeah, more historical accurate feature instead of like a modern chimney, right? Yeah. And then the backsplash we changed that. We still went with the Carrera Marble, always. That's a fruitful touch. But we went with the subway tile horizontal, which is more like accurate, right, to the time. Yep. Looks good. They did, I don't think they had like fancy shapes. Yeah, they didn't have herringbone maybe. I'm sure uh, they did actually. actually. They might have actually. Yeah, maybe we should have did the herringbone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so here we got this dinette. So you had a hard time kind of figuring out like where this was gonna go. Yeah, we knew that we wanted to fit some sort of dining room table yeah. because People will complain if you don't have it, even though nobody really ever uses their dinner. Everybody eats their dinner over there on the couch. <laughs> on this massive island. Yeah, that's what have. we do nowadays. I had a hard time with this one, um, especially because we ended up fitting a powder room yeah. in here. So it makes this space a lot more tight. Yeah. Um, but I think this works. It's a small sort yeah. of dinette area. It works. It's a tight, cozy, old house. It works. Yeah. Swing around here, cameraman, to the bathroom because this looks pretty sweet. And we just did the historical tile kind of matching. Uh, nice little bonus bathroom, nothing fancy. Yeah, it's a really tiny, <laughs> very small, really tiny. So we got this pocket door because it's so tiny, you can't even fit a door in there. So but it works. Just add something extra to this floor. Totally. Let's go upstairs. All right, the bright theme continues. So all floors throughout, obviously, whole new house throughout. Actually, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and this bathroom, absolutely stunning. Oh my god, yes. like the favorite bathroom we've ever done ever. Come into our luxurious spa bathroom. This no. legit feels like a spa. It really does, and I think it's because of the tub. Of course, I wanted the soaker tub, and then we got the chandelier over here. We had a hard time figuring out this like layout, but this is awesome. 
Yeah, I think the layout really worked. We were able to fit an oversized vanity, yeah. a nice big mirror. Um, we did have some problems with the light fixture. It got broken and then it was yeah. gonna be a very long delay. But anyways, we worked it out. It worked out. It ended up being bigger than what was here originally, which actually worked out better. So sometimes yeah. mistakes are meant to happen. I feel like that always happens with our light fixtures. They're always bigger, but it always looks way better that they were bigger. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Custom shower, this looks sick. Yeah, really nice shower. I don't think we've ever done on a flip yeah. glass um, enclosure, but it looks yeah, really Yeah, very custom, nice. very high end, which is what we're going for with this house. The retreat kind of bathroom, right? Mm -hmm. I was super happy with this. Moving on to the master bedroom. So the old bathroom door was actually here. You'd yes. walk into the old bathroom, which was like three by three. It was, it was so small. So small, and because of the window placement, like I still don't know what we could have done with that. Yeah. I think it made more sense to use up a bedroom yeah. to make this really nice bathroom. That's, I love that bathroom. So here's the master. We still kept the master over here and we turned that old dinky little bathroom into a walk-in closet, which is <laughs> absolutely amazing. You've got a chair in here for the staging purposes. Yep. Oh, uh, dude, a window in the walk-in closet? What yeah, is this? a nice window. Yeah. Um, I think it helps because the bedroom itself isn't very big. Yeah, um, for sure. You need this. So you kind of need this. You can still fit like a dresser in here if you really wanted to. Yeah. Although I don't think you need to with these built-ins. But I love it. it's a really nice bonus. Yeah. And a good use of the old bathroom space. Totally. This is cool. I can't believe this was a bathroom. Can't believe it. Yeah. Let's go to <laughs> the, the kids' room. The only bathroom of the house. Yeah, the whole there. house. Yeah. yeah. Let's go to the kids' room. So here we are in the second bedroom that yeah. we've staged as the kids' room. Oh, I love the staging of the kids' room every time. <laughs> this one actually turned out really well. Usually with the kids' room, I only have enough space for like the bed and yeah. like those toys. But here, there's like this whole space, so I was able to fit like a little desk the in. Kid got a desk, and they're already reading the book. They're already <laughs> reading, level 10 reading. It's about all the staging, and my buddy here, the dolphin. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. Originally, this was a door to walk out to this like really sketchy like Julia balcony Julia yeah. balcony that you would literally die you would on. die um and so we didn't replace that we tore it off the house and then we just replaced the door with this oversized window yeah worked out pretty good yeah it lets in a lot of light yeah so we got the office over here so this was like this could be like a small kids room we had a couple complaints <laughs> from some of the buyers yeah. you called this a bedroom yes I do okay so this could be like a little kids room or an office and then we also brought the laundry Which up is here. why this room is smaller than yes. what it would have been. Because we got this monster in here. We put the washer dryer up here, which in hindsight, we ended up finishing a small portion of the basement, which yes. duh, would have been a great spot. We weren't her. going to, but then in the middle, we're like, let's finish the stairwell. And we're yeah. like, we could have put the washer and dryer down there and not have this anyway. It worked out. <laughs> Whatever. It's nice to have the washer dryer totally is on nice, yeah. the upstairs where the bedrooms are because yeah. it's easy do laundry something that we're really looking forward to in our next house yes is the uh, upstairs yeah. laundry room Huge so difference. while this is an inconvenience in terms of like space yeah. space i think it is a total convenience in terms of physically doing the yeah laundry. for sure but if this was like a mini kids room they also have access to the attic let's go check that uh -huh. out <laughs> so coming up the stairs we got another window in the stairwell every stairwell has a window yeah it's nice this house is so well lit yeah. there's so many windows yeah so we're coming to the Cool kids attic. So on this side, this was all unfinished, is a major dirty, transformation. Yeah, like hardcore. Before I didn't even want to come anywhere close to yeah. being up here because it was so gross. Yeah, it smelled so strong of just ooh, just like old, old 1914 insulation. wood. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So we completely finished it, wired it, pot lights, smoke detectors on every floor because this project was permitted, which we always do anyway. But yep. we went upper level on this one. But yeah, we even got a window in the attic. But we got the kids' play space. Yeah, I mean. It is a really tight staircase coming up here, so like you couldn't really put like a big bulky couch. Yeah. But I wanted to stage it so people knew it was usable. For sure. So we had to be a little bit more creative. Yeah. So we put yeah, I bought this like. Teepee. Goodbye. I love these. TP. I want to go in there. <laughs> some pillows down, and then on this side. Yeah, this side we got the adult know. side. Yoga. So we got the yoga retreat. You got the spa bathroom downstairs. Do some yeah. yoga, go soak in the tub after. Dude, this house is sick. <laughs> and didn't you get some compliments on the sort of yoga vibe up here? People oh, totally. thought it was really cool. Like, yeah, wow, man. what a good use of the space. You All these sure windows, you can just picture doing some warrior twos. You know how it is. <laughs> this is perfect. Yeah, I, I actually really like how the attic turned out. Even though the slope ceilings yeah. are not ideal, like literally like you're two seconds yeah. away from smoking your head. For sure. But for kids, 
This is awesome. It's perfect. So the basement in this house was totally unusable. It has low ceilings, weird concrete floors from 1914. So you can't really use it as a finished basement. So we kind of lost some space there, but we gained it from finishing the attic, which was creepy, disgusting. <laughs> you didn't want to even go up there, but it was a good go choice to finish that. It was a really good choice to finish it. It is a little tight, like yeah. for headspace, but it makes such a nice wow feature yeah. when you walk up the stairs. It's a good bonus space. You could do, we have it staged for like a kid's sort yeah. of play area and then a yoga space, but you yeah. could easily get like a small couch and do like a really cozy like theater yeah, room. Sure. I don't know, there's a lot of possibilities up there. You could even have a kid's room up yeah, there. Yeah, if the buyer have has kids, like that's the perfect kid's playroom. Oh my God, yeah, I wish I had that when I was a kid. Totally. So guys, that's the project. This was an enormously huge transformation. I'm happy with it, are you happy with it? I am happy with it. Yeah. I'm also happy for it to be done. Very happy. This was a long one. Lots of delays with COVID, the holidays, man. But anyway, we're done on the next one. If you like this video, smash that like button. Also hit that subscribe button so we can see more of each other. I'll see you in the next video.